Hi guys, welcome to another how-to video. Today's video we're going to talk about ANR, Automatic Network Refresh. Really good feature, really underused, but really powerful. So firstly you need to get an SD card, put it into the IP camera itself, then you log into the IP camera and you have to set the camera to record on motion, event or continue record, whatever you like. So it has two benefits. One, it's always recorded on the edge, so should something happen to the recorder or the network, but the camera stays alive, there's always recording on the critical cameras. Second function is the ANR function. So if something happens to the recorder and there is footage on the SD card, when it reconnects back to the same recorder, it will back up this footage back to the recorder so you don't see any loss in the recorder footage on the recorder itself. And of course, it's still on the NVR. So first thing we need to do is log into the actual IP camera. We've So we'll log into the IP camera. This is one of my cameras that look out in the car park by the front door. It's a 4K camera, so just nice uh, screenshot there. So if I go into configuration, first thing you need to do is go into the storage element. So if we go into storage, so you can see uh, the actual camera itself is set to record 24 seven. If I click on advanced, uh, you can set the overwrite and pre and post if you wanna use motion or event. Then what we need to do is go into the storage management and we've got the SD card here. You can see I've got only seven gig free. It's been recording uh, for a week or two now. And you've got the percentage of picture record that you can set. So this SD card is recording in the camera as it should. If I go into playback, you will see footage in the timeline at the bottom. So you can see footage uh, started from uh, this afternoon. So you can scroll through there. This is from today. Uh, I think I might have, yes, yeah, so it is only today. If I click on there, uh, it's on the 4th of June. So there's your footage uh, for today. What we can do now is if I go into the recorder, so that's my camera, you can see the SD card is recording there, so that's nice. If I go now into the recorder itself in configuration, And if I go to storage, I select the camera, so I know it's this one out of the front, the 2T85. So again, it's continuing recording on the NVR itself. If I click on advanced, you'll see the option enable ANR. That's already ticked by default, it's off. You need to tick that, click on OK, click on save, and then that will turn the function on. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and disconnect the recorder from the network. Then we'll go back and make sure in a couple of minutes time that the recording has come from the camera back to the NVR. So hopefully you will catch me very shortly. See you in a minute. A few moments later. Okay, welcome back. So I've just disconnected and reconnected as, it, as, it, as we should have done. So if I go back into playback now, so we're looking for the eight o'clock one. So if I look at, if I just make this bigger. So if I look at the AMPR camera, which doesn't have the uh, function in there and zoom in, if we go right along the timeline, Need to make this a lot quicker. So if I now go to the timeline here and then zoom in, you'll see there's quite a chunk of footage missing. So where we've disconnected the camera and it's reconnected again, so we're back up to there, 204. And it so we're not from here on, we're not actually recording anything. So if I stop that, I need to give it a little bit of time for the record to catch up. But if I go to the one, the T2. 8.5 now. What you'll actually see is that's continual. So we disconnected the camera at 2.06 and reconnected it. So it's actually backing up the footage nicely from the SD card itself. So where we had the DST issues and the camera was jumping in and out of time, it's now actually backing the footage up where it was offline. So the 2.07 there, 206 to 208. There is the time period where we had the recorder disconnected and reconnected. So this goes to show it's very important that the camera time and NVR time are actually synchronized. If you've got the camera added to two different systems, you must 
uh, have an NTP server to make sure they're synced or make sure that one, there's an option in the new firmware for the, which MVR does the time sync. So just make sure that is correct. So if you're jumping back and forth time, you will see this issue with footage here, like we had with the DST where it's jumping back and forth the time. And when it uploads, the actual footage is overwriting footage is already there. So it's actually a really good real world test. Hopefully the ANR function is something that you will start to use. Uh, if you want to know more about it, contact us here at DVS or uh, follow our link and we'll um, keep showing these valuable little tips. Uh, keep sharing, keep watching, keep subscribing. Uh, see you soon for the next how-to video. Thanks for watching, guys.